YouTube, Santa Frank here. Today I'm going to be doing a um, local hobby shop find video. Um, I kind of like doing these. I like uh, make a trip to the hobby shop every once in a while and go through some of their bargain bins and see if they got any good deals anywhere. And I found some pretty cool deals this time. Um, shout out to Oliver Sports. Um, I'll go ahead and show you what I got. And I'll sh show you like my plans with some of this stuff. <laughs> They had a PSA 10 um, Bowman Chrome first Wander Franco, which I got for way less than uh, the price of grading a card. So I'm just going to throw this on eBay and take, you know, a decent offer on it. His cards are, are dead in the water, of course. But, eh, PSA 10. Uh, this PSA 10, I'm just going to go ahead and throw in my collection. It was just a couple bucks. Can't beat that for a uh, PSA 10 graded card. Um, Mike Soroka, he still pitches today, so um, I'll throw that in my collection. Uh, I know 2015 Bowman is very tough to grade, and I mean, for a fraction of the cost of the grading cost, I got a PSA 10 to throw into my uh, um, PSA, uh, PSA graded card collection. All right, these were uh, bargain bin items. Oh, these are actually in the bargain bin too, but they're great cards. Sometimes they throw great cards in the bargain bins. These are interesting. Um, they're they're from historic autographs. Obviously, you got a lot of edge wear and stuff on these thick cards, but I don't really care about that. It is a uh, just like a kind of like a hit from historic autographs 2022 Civil War, but this is a one dollar coin there um only one of 150 so i don't know if people collect this set or not but it's cool this card has an all-time floor it'll never go below a dollar <laughs> so pretty cool and i like this one it had the abraham lincoln coin in it um and this one's actually one out of 200 so i don't know why this one was one out of 150 the rutherford hayes but the uh president lincoln one was one of 200 but anyway those cards are always going to be worth at least a dollar. Um, I I picked this up from the bargain bin. They throw some uh, cool old Marvel stuff in there once in a while. And then when I got home, I realized it was not gradable. It's got an indent on the back. So that kind of sucks. I don't have a good carnage yet So from that set. But I'll just keep it in my, uh, in my Marvel stuff. Um, I always loved... If, if I see a Hall of Fame autograph... In a bargain bin, I'm going to pick it up. And this is Dwight Stevenson. Um, there he is with his Hall of Fame bust there. This is a Sport Kings card. On card auto. Um, I don't know how rare these are. But it's an NFL Hall of Famer autograph. On card autograph. So I was like, that's a, that's a no-brainer bargain bin pickup. This was pretty cool. Um, I love archives art autos. And I do not have any Mike Cameron autos. And this is actually a numbered one. A silver border out of 99. So it's like, I'll take it. That's a pretty decent uh, little hit if you're opening a hobby box of uh, archives. I love that 1982 top style also. So just a nice looking card. You know, he kind of was around the era that I was like my dark period of baseball but he had a long career there and um, pretty cool to have on card auto in a bargain bin uh, numbered auto from archives i mean it's on card license auto of a player that played how many years is that 9 10 11 12 13 18 year uh, major league baseball career <laughs> Um, they have, uh, some pretty good Pokemon cards there. Um, their condition is not bad. I've sent in cards from this card shop and got PSA 10s before. And Japanese cards, of course, always grade very well. And I love Pikachu, so I was like, this is a Pokemon Go Japanese Hollow Pikachu. Beautiful card. I will send that in and grade it. And probably, I don't keep modern Japanese graded cards. I do the vintage, but, um... This will be easy to grade, and um, there's millions of Pikachu collectors out there. Alright, this 
um, Masterpieces card, like the Carnage, this one actually looks gradable. The centering is not terrible. It is a little bit thick on top. Um, the Venom and the back looks really good. Like, I'm not seeing whitening in the corners, which is very unusual. So, I'm going to try to see if I can grade that one and see what it gets. I think what would get me on this is the surface. I think there's a couple of marks on the surface. But, really cool. I wanna, I'm trying to build a set of these graded. I really don't. At least like PSA 7 or better. Um, this is from the, um, I believe this is from the Spider-Man Metal set. This is a hit from one of those uh, boxes that were like, at one time they were like five or $600 boxes. And they've dropped way down since then. But this is a Black Panther Palladium. Pretty cool. Um, I will snag that if I see it in a bargain bin. This is awesome. This is an old um, Spider-Man Marvel uh, Metal. Um, Flair Universe type thing. Looked really nice. Um, I don't remember what year this is from. But it's definitely a more an older. Um, it's not from the recent um, Spider-Man Metal set. So I was like, man, that is a really cool looking card. It was in the bargain bin. I grabbed it. I have no idea what it's worth. Um, they had some Star Wars cards in there, and I saw this. I love Star Wars Chrome Black as far as like the base cards and refractors. Beautiful cards. Um, so I picked this one up, Axe Woes. This is the orange out of 25. Um, another old Spider-Man card. This is from Flare Marvel Annual. I can't read that year. It might be 98 or 95. But really cool. Duo Blast. Um, one of three. You have Spider-Man and Scarlet Spider. So it's like double-sided cards. Really cool art there. Um, Mark Johnson and Tractor did that, but really cool Spider-Man card. I would I'd like to pick up these old Spider-Man cards. <clears throat> they had a Victor Wimbanyama. This is the Monopoly version. I don't know how many people are like looking for this particular variant, but it's a Victor Wimbanyama Prism rookie in a bargain bin. Looked pretty clean. I'm going to go ahead and send it in, see what I get. Um, I don't have any Prism. I'll, I'll, the only Women Yama cards I have are Tops ones, so they're not licensed. But they're pretty cool cards. But this is actual um, Prism one. And this one looked cool too, looked clean. Um, this is the Deep Space um, insert. And it definitely has the uh, rookie card symbol. And I was like, you know what, I'll try it. I'm in space. I, I like women yama. Let's get it. I had a cool Julio Rodriguez rated prospect. Um, this is from 2022 Donruss. Um, so I wanted to pick it up. I'll send it in, see how it grades. I don't think it's it's not numbered or anything, just a parallel. And they had a um, this is a 2023 high tech which is really hard to get hold of um at any kind of decent prices so when i see a luke skywalker um high tech card from this set in a bargain bin i'll grab it so i'll add that to my collection so i got all those and they had these <laughs> these are the big ones i got today two um Collector booster boxes of Lord of the Rings, Magic the Gathering. This is the set that had the uh, the one of one ring. The one of one ring's been pulled, but you can still get some amazing cards from these uh, boxes. They were really smart to not just put the one of one ring in there and nothing else. Um, there's a lot of really great cards that you can get in these. So the box prices actually have barely gone down even after the uh, the ring was pulled. And this this place where I went is mainly their sports card shop. So they do have some like non-sports and, and um, 
um, TCG stuff, but that's not their main focus. Their main focus is sports cards. So I think I'm going to do a, a hobby talk episode about that. Um, sometimes you can find really good deals on older um, non-sports stuff in sports card shops. And that's what this was. This was a fantastic price. Um, I actually, um, I'll, I'll save some more of this stuff for the uh, Hobby Talk episode. But this is my Hobby Shop finds. Fantastic deals. Got all these cards and these, these for less than the price of these two um, that you can get on anywhere online. So a really good deal. I'll grade several. I'm, my plans are grading 10 of these cards even. Wait. Yeah, 10 of these cards. I have some for my just my personal collection and some boxes to put away that are going to be great boxes to have um, sealed. And um, that was my hobby shop finds. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos later.